Hey everyone, this is Pake for Life, and in today's Transformers video review, we'll be taking a look at a special crossover series that Takara has going on, which is Transformers X Evangelion, which, if you don't know, Evangelion is an anime, a Japanese cartoon um, that came out a while ago, but it's still super popular. And I remember watching it in college, which was like 10 years ago. And it's a very popular series. It's a very interesting crossover because they really don't have that much to do with. They don't have anything to do with each other and it's just kind of out of nowhere. But they cr created a four-part story, at least four parts so far, that basically looks at the angels returning after the original Evangelion series. Angels being these kind of big robot monster kind of things that um, attack Earth. And to combat these, there's an organization called NERV, which you'll see um, quite a bit, N-E-R-V, which uh, combats them by developing these robots, which are actually still life forms based on angels that um, they use to pilot and defeat the angels. So in this story that takes place after after the entire series, including the movies and so forth, they come back, the angels come back to Earth and start attacking. And while they do that, the Autobots riding on Skylinks come to Earth and offer their assistance after getting this weird energy reading. They team up with Nerve and Optus Prime actually scans one of the Evangelions, the EVA-01 or EVA-01, which is this purple-green deco, which is the iconic Evangelion from the series, and not only adopts the deco, but grows in size and kind of adopts some of these weird hybrid powers. And then uh, he actually fights the angel who, <laughs> I know the story's kind of weird, the angel comes and <laughs> is actually possessed or merges with the ghost of Starscream, who's been uh, apparently floating around. So Optimus eventually works with the other Autobots to defeat Angel Scream, is apparently what they're calling him, and everyone goes about their merry way. Starscream's spark goes, or ghost goes somewhere, uh, Optimus reverts to his regular self, but they basically have an ongoing partnership with Nerve, and they even make this nice deco trailer for him, repair bay for him. So that's the story, probably more than you wanted or needed to know, you probably already knew if you're watching this, but let's go ahead and get into packaging review. So the packaging is very similar to the MP10 box that we've seen before. So this is the MP10 Cybertron Commander Convoy Mode EVA. And that is um, just a redeco of the MP10 mold, which has been reissued and remolded several times throughout the past few years. But it's a really cool deco. So again, it takes the purple, green, black aesthetic from the Evangelion 01, EVA 01, and he adopts that. And it looks really, really quite nice. And again, this, this trailer is decoed out, and we'll look into each of those um, as we go into the review. But as far as packaging, this is what you get. Very similar, but you just basically get some additional things in the background, which are um, reminiscent of the Evangelion series. You do have this small uh, holographic sticker here, which says Evangelion officially licensed. Again, just the name of this mode. And I actually don't know if they're going to be doing more of this series, like, because other Autobots are in there. I talked about Angel Scream, but Sideswipe and um, Wheeljack and I think Bumblebee are in the series as well. So on the side, you get just the regular Transformers masterpiece and um, name of this particular figure. On the top, you get a little bit of robot mode. On the other side, same thing as on the first side. On the bottom, you get to see what is all included, which is Optimus, the trailer, and we get a redecoed um, roller, spike, his gun, his axe, matrix. You get a instruction booklet and a stat card. But on the back is where it does differ. On the back of Masterpiece Boxes, you usually get just a lot of product images um, and explaining some of the bonus accessories or features of the accessories. Here we just have this really nice artwork, which looks like it is based on the MP10 mold and not just a generic um, Optimus mold. So it, it's actually quite nice and this image is actually used in the instruction booklet as well as the stack card. But that's really it for MP10 Convoy Mode EVA. Let's go ahead and open him up and you can see what he looks like inside the packaging. So out of packaging you get this nice clamshell which is the same one that we got with the original MP10 and the reissues. We also have an instruction booklet and stack cards. So an instruction booklet um, has that image again 
and actually has some additional artwork which talk about the story. I don't know how much of the story is actually revealed, if it's just part one or if it's all four parts. I'm not really sure, but again, nice artwork. We have some images you can see Bumblebee and Wheel, uh, Wheeljack and Sideswipe there along with Eva 1. This is up here, the uh, Angel Scream, the merging of Star Scream and an Angel. And then it goes into showing the probably images that you would typically have on the back. So this is what is usually on the back of the MP10 box. And you see the robot mode and then all these accessories with the trailer. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm not sure what all this is. And this is Spike. Some people were, were questioning whether it was a character from the Evangelion series. But it is actually Spike. It says so there. It's just a, a redeco of Spike. And then it goes into some of the features as well as transformation. And that's about it for the, the booklet. Aside from the little bit of story that you see in the beginning, there's not really much new there. With the stack card, you can, again, they're making use of that same image. It is a bit different, it is different than the um, masterpiece, the traditional masterpiece card. It is actually a little bit bigger in both dimensions, like a couple millimeters or a millimeter, millimeter in each, each direction. And on the back, is the bio and then the stats. So it looks like they didn't change any of the bio from what I can see. I can't read Japanese, but it looks exactly the same from what I can tell. And the stats didn't change, even though he does get bigger and presumably more powerful when he gets into EVA mode. But that's what uh, they say, so get that out of the way. As far as the clamshell, again, all exactly the same as what we got before we have robot here, we have uh, roller, we have the Energon Axe, the, we have the gun, we have Spike, and then we have the trailer, Redeco trailer. Okay, we'll open him up and let's see what he looks like in robot and alt mode. So here we have Convoy Mode Eva out of packaging and he looks really great. I love the purple and green and black. It's very, well it's kind of weird, I mean just set of colors. Um, you know purple and green I automatically think Incredible Hulk but you know it, it works for Eva as well. And then we have um, some of the other accessories as well. But let's go ahead and move all this out of the way until we get to those items and we'll start off with robot mode review. So robot mode, he is again the same mold. I don't think they've made any improvements um, to this mold and really there aren't that many to be made. I, I love the MP10 mold. But let's go ahead and take a quick 360 look at him. Here's the profile and you can see they have Evangelion 01 test type. On the back, I've always loved, loved this mold. It's always been my favorite mold of all the Masterpiece. And the one that, I guess, invokes the most Masterpiece-like feel to me. Just because it's Optimus. Same thing here. And back to the front. So this is not going to be a traditional review like I usually do in the sense that I'm not going to go through transformations. But I did want to do a lot of comparisons with some of the other molds. So let's go ahead and... Um, Bring in the MP original MP10. Um, real quick disclaimer: my eyes are are different. I swapped out um, different eyes. The, his eyes are typically translucent, or actually um, a translucent blue, a very light blue, um, with some reflective um, paint on the inside, which is supposed to make him look like they're glowing. It never really worked for me, and I always like the painted blue eyes, so I swapped that out. But you can see the deco is uh, completely different. The the molding is exactly the same. So some of the differences that you'll see 
moving up a bit in the additional paint is that most of this guy's painted so instead of the chrome here we have painted paint portions there um, it's the abs are not the chrome ab chrome abs that we see here grill it's a painted silver looking at the shoulder you can see that he, he has the nerve symbol at the top see the translucent orange as opposed to the yellow some interesting use of paint details here so uh, MP10 none of the MP10 um, decos ever had paint here on the knees but they do on this one and same thing at the toes and um, on the feet as well so you can see that there's green here and then just on the tip orange which again I've never seen that done with any MP10 deco so it's interesting to do that. I've seen customs do that. The paint isn't great though I don't think it's crisp. Um, right here there's a lot of overspray on this foot in particular but also here. The knees they're okay as well they're not perfect I just think it's uh, interesting that they did that. I'm sure they did that to kind of break up the huge amount of purple since there was you know gray here and blue here this whole leg as well as the waist is purple so they probably want to just break up the monotony there so looking at the side there again that detail here that didn't have anything before this is a nice painted um almost like a dark gray gum metal gray maybe on the back there are some additional painted details um, here which we'll look at in um, in alt mode but it's basically the front of the cab has additional paint here on this black section that it didn't have before alright so there's a lot of purple going on let's go ahead and bring in the other popular mold which is the MP10 I uh, no, the sorry the Hasbro um, release which is in kind of the cartoon colors One thing that Hasbro does have that the other ones didn't is that the paint, painted uh, cab lights up there. Neither the M original MP10 or this figure has, has those painted. All right. But otherwise, pretty much the same. Oh, this, uh, this is also a sticker, so don't get confused. These are stickers, um, stickers here. So those aren't part of the, the actual figure. Those are third-party stickers. But yeah, very much the same in that respect. So in case you, you've never, if you're an Evangelion fan who's just um, buying this just because you're on the other side of the fandom, um, I will show you a couple of things that are, um, are important, I guess, to know. So he does have um, a lot of great articulation in the shoulders. He's all the way around. Uh, he also is on a, a hinge here which allows you to get some more freedom of movement when you move back. Uh, he does have a swivel at the joint here at the bicep as well as a nice elbow bend. He does have wrist articulation and his fingers, three of them, the middle ring and pinky are molded at one hinge piece. And then the, the trigger finger, pointer finger or forefinger has uh, two points of articulation actually has a movement in that piece there just be careful this mold is notorious for the finger popping off and you definitely do not want to lose the finger on a limited 1000 only pieces um, figure because you're not going to be able to get a replacement for one at least not cheap so he also has some waist articulation his head is on a swivel and a hinge so it gets a lot of up movement, not that much down, and he can go all the way around. But also the head is on a um, panel itself, which is used for transformation. And there's actually a little bit of paint detail in here as well that I didn't point out, a little bit of orange. Again, to break it up, it's kind of weird that they didn't do that on the back. Here, they just left it purple. So interesting choice of paint applications. His legs are really nice. They're um, kind of these universal ratchety joints that have a great range of motion, can go out. Uh, they also have um, swivel here. 
has a nice deep knee, 90 degrees. And then his feet are really nice. So they're, they pivot forward and back. Well, not really back, really, but forward. And then they also have um, an, an ankle tilt that goes inwards. And this figure has always been known for having weak ankles. And that might be an improvement because I feel like it actually snaps into place here while the other ones, they don't seem to snap into place. See, see how this one like hangs down? This one does not hang down. Same thing with the um, Hasbro figure. Let me bring him out. Oh, actually, the Hasbro one does click into place. I didn't know, never noticed that. Seems to click in place. So maybe it's just the original MP10 mold that did, does, doesn't have anything to click it into place. Yeah. Who knows? It might just be looseness, but this one feels like it has a definitive snap into place. Okay, and I think that's it for, oh actually he does have some toe here, that's really for transformation and heal as well, but if you want to make use of that for posing in some way, shape, or form, you're able to do that. And then lastly, I wanted to talk about um, a couple of features on the chest. So the chest does open up, and what is open up to is another grill, which is going to be the grill for the, um, or the bumper for the alt mode, but you can actually open that up. Oh, sorry. You can open that up and it reveals a pa another panel inside which um, holds the matrix of leadership from the Transformer series. If you open that up, you actually get the matrix of leadership. It is slightly different than um, the one that we're looking at, we were familiar with. And looking at it, it is a different color as well as. Um, the, the, the matrix itself is a different color, but so is the, um, gem in the middle. So it's a red color, and they talk about this specifically in the series. He uses this to help power the Energon Axe that he used to, that he eventually uses to defeat the, um, Angel Scream, or whatever you want to call him. So let me, give me one second, let me try to get the other one out of mp10 chest so you can see what that looks like and you can see it's, it's way different so it doesn't have this the original one has orange here and a blue gem this one is kind of a gold and red gem so here is the evil mode gun and here is the original gun original blaster iconic optimus prime blaster so this one's painted in this kind of a uh, grayish uh, color with some orange details here, black handle, and some gray at the front. And for those that don't have this mold, you can go ahead and fold this up and then collapse it. And it clicks into place here. And what that does is store... Oh, sorry. Let me go ahead and raise the camera. I'll just zoom out a bit. So what you can do with the gun is open up the back and you can actually, oh, sorry, came undone. So there's a little button that, that releases it on the back here. And it's always hard to make sure it stays in place. But what you do is you put it in like so, and you can fold up Optimus Prime's back, and you'll have it stored in robot mode. So a pretty cool feature. I've always liked that. It makes the gun a little bit smaller than I would like, but it's still pretty nice. So the other weapon that he has is this red Energon Axe, which was like in one episode of the original G1 series, but they do make use of it in the story. And here it is compared with the original orange colored Energon Axe. Okay, uh, this is also again a, these metallic stickers are a third party thing so ignore those and to make use of this uh, you can see it's a mold that has some molding in here it's supposed to go only on the right hand you can probably squeeze it into the left hand but you might you know mess something up so you just push it straight on and then you have Eva mode optimus with his angel destroying red 
Energy X. Let's actually move this up. Let's get his gun back out real quick. I was thinking I should probably show um, the handle. So there's little pegs in the, the handle on each side and those are for his hand that also have a slot that corresponds with these. So you just rotate that in, push it into place and you can close up the hand. So now he's all weaponed out and ready to fight angels. So here we have the roller in his new deco and it's kind of a army green gray I don't know I'm very bad with color so it's kind of a grayish khaki mix color and it's hard to probably capture because my lights are probably a little too bright but he does have six wheels that roll plastic wheels uh, he's actually a really cool addition so there's a lot of different features that he has so you can actually open up this section here let's see if I can so you can open this up and flip this around and he has slots here and what this slot is for is to plug in the gun, Optimus Prime's gun, and then you can roll around shooting people like that. Let's go ahead and show another feature, which is to open up this entire section. And then you want to rotate this forward, get that into place, and then close it up. And what this does is allow you to bring in the trailer which we'll talk about in more detail later, but there's pegs, two pegs here that go onto the onto roller, the new section that we just rotated out, and that allows you to have roller drag the trailer around. You know, so this is a repair bay. If uh, Optimus is in trouble and needs a repair bay, roller can go ahead and bring it to him wherever he is. Let's go ahead and put that trailer away for now. Let's rotate this back in, and let's do some quick comparisons. So let's bring in the MP10 roller and the Hasbro roller. All the same again. The, the only difference is the additional nerve paint app on the front. Again, ignore these stickers. They're not part of the original figure. Different color in the headlights as well. On the side, there's not really much that you're gonna see that's different. And on the back, same thing. Again, ignoring these stickers here. Okay, so that's really it for Roller. Aside from one last fact is that you can make use of Spike, who we'll talk about very quickly. So Spike is also redecoed. Again, this is Spike. Um, it's not an Evangelion pilot. This is Spike. I don't know why they decided to color his hair black instead of brown. He, I can understand him changing clothes into a Nerve outfit, but not dying his hair so I think that's kind of funny but you can see that they use the same mold and they just cleverly use paint applications to make it look slightly different not sure why the inside of his foot is a knee is brown here I, I actually don't remember if that's kind of the look of the nerve um, nerve outfit or not but again using making use of paint um, to to make it look like a different mold okay as far as articulation with Spike, you can rotate his arm at the shoulder all, all the way around. You can raise his leg 90 degrees and you can bend his knee 90 degrees. No other articulation. You can't really go back on his, um, on his hip joint. But you can get him into a seating position with his arms raised so that he can sit in roller. And you can also sit in a couple areas of the trailer as well, which we'll show off in a bit. But yeah. Not that much different. The Hasbro and MP10 versions of Spike are the same, so I'm, I didn't bring out the third one to compare since they're basically the same figure. Alright. I think that's it for Roller. Let's go ahead and bring in the trailer. So here we have the trailer. So... So here we have 
Eva Mode Optimus's trailer, and this is a real large departure from the original MP10 trailer, which was painted but not as extensively as this and not nearly nicely as decoed. So there's a lot of decorations here. There's paint all along here. Here, the, the even the Autobot symbol is a, a different color. They have nerve symbols in, in a bunch of places, caution symbols, just regular lettering in a bunch of places. Um, it says dangerous exhaust port here, so caution. Uh, a lot of decos on the edge. These are little applications for vents. Even caution symbols over here on the, um, I guess the supports that come out later. And it's all, this entire thing I think is painted. I don't even, I'm not sure, I don't, I don't even think this, this uh, gray is the, the, the plastic. I think that's actually uh, paint. Let me actually check later. So uh, on the back you get more uh, paint applications, more nerve, Tokyo 3, New Tokyo 3, um, again the symbol here, Project Evangelion movable base, nice caution paint here, tail lights, and same thing on the other side. The only difference here is it says R02 or R01 or R03, I guess that just means for the right side. And then back to the front, which looks like the back, pretty much. And then the top, which we saw earlier, just says Nerve. And then we'll take a look at the bottom, just because there's a lot of great molded detail on the MP10 trailer. So there's like a spare tire. It's not functional, but it's there. Uh, it has these struts for support. In addition to these struts that can fold away or come out, you also have these articulated supports, which when you when you pull this out, you'll see that these feet are ratcheted so that they come down further, so they actually will support the figure and touch the ground. I'm oh, sorry, you guys probably couldn't see that, but they'll actually rotate to be touching the ground here on both sides. That's a really nice feature. G given that they already have these supports in the front, they probably didn't need to do that, but I love the fact that they go out of their way to do that. You can open up the back. Yeah, see the, the paint, the, the actual plastic is this, um, the same greenish color that we saw before with like roller so it's actually painted all this silk gray paint on the outside is all painted so the entire trailer on the outside is painted you can pull out this ramp which has steps as well as a ramp treads and then you can actually lift this guy up and I forget which way it is there you go you can open open up the trailer to reveal a number of different options. You can do it as a repair bay standing vertically like this or you can display it as kind of a um, battle station slash mobile base this way. Uh, oh, sorry, that's why. Mobile base this way. Some features here are um, you can, this robot or repair drone kind of thing has a lot of articulation. Let's actually zoom in there so you can see more of it. So it's on two joints, so it can get up pretty high. But it also has this kind of radar dish thing. It has an arm that you can bend in a couple places and also has a claw has a lot of range of motion. Also has blasters here. The cockpit can open and we can sit in spike. Close them up. You can also sit spike in a number of different places within the repair bay too. So you can close this up or you can open it up to reveal the seat and you can sit in here. Same thing 
on the other side, sorry, trying to get this all on camera here. Up at the top as well, he has a seat that can fold down, but when you open it up, you can have him sitting there as well. And then these parts here are kind of like platforms that you can have like Spike standing in, or what they're really intended for is to this side, of, this side over here, you can plug in plug in the blaster. Sorry, I didn't even show that. So the blaster here you can plug in down there. And on this side, you can plug in the... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong... That's the wrong axe. Let me get the correct axe. So the correct axe is the red one. Sorry about that. And that plugs in here for storage as well. So, he, so the trailer can uh, carry all his weapons and accessories. And it's supposed to be that you can bring in Optimus. You can stand here. And you can see that he fits right in. They've designed it, they molded it so that his shoulders fit directly in between these two pieces and that way Spike can get right on there and help him out. Okay, so that's again it for the trailer for the most part. There's a couple of other features that I, I'll, I'll show really quickly. Um, so we talked about we talked about the drone repair bot I guess. You can actually fold in these two tabs, there's two tabs on either side that you can fold in. And then you can raise up the drone to make use of that opening. And you can have him kind of looking or battling from the outside. And that's a feature that I believe was from the original G1 toy that was carried over to MP10, but now carries over to the EVA mode as well. But let's go ahead and close him back up. The deco is very different in here as well. He's black as opposed to blue um, or silver. Let's close this up and then we'll do some comparisons with the other trailers. Rotate these back in. And let's go ahead and bring in the other trailers. So this is the original MP10 trailer. Are we going to be able to fit, see any of this? So this is the original MP, MP10 trailer. And very similarly, the Hasbro trailer. From the outside, they look pretty much the same. Um, it's really the inside where they kind of differ. So the, the inside of the Hasbro trailer has that same blue color while the Takara one has this dark blue color which matches the Optimus colors. And also the MP10 one has silver painted on the inside which when uh, neither of the other two have silver painted on the inside. Alright so here we have Eva mode Optimus Prime in alt mode. Do a quick 360. So we have him from the side, the back, making sure his... Uh, this mold also has a problem with legs sticking together sometimes, so I'm not really surprised that these legs aren't sticking perfectly well together. The other profile, and then to the front. He does feature rubber wheels, as always with this mold, so he rolls really well. Um, some feature the, of this mode, I guess, is, I mean, really, he has articulated side view mirrors. That's really about it. Um, he does, I guess, have articulating smokestacks, but officially you're supposed to have the smokestacks down for this mode. So you're, you do get a lot of additional paint apps, so I want to compare him with the Hasbro and... MP10 
Takara versions so you can see where they've applied additional paint apps. So with both the original decos, I guess, they have the silver line that goes across the side, but with the Eva mode, they also added this additional black detail here, which takes on the arms and this the grill here, the stairs, and the front part of the um, the front part of the figure. But yeah, that's really it in terms of differences in alt mode that you can't you couldn't see from the other modes as well. Kind of odd that they painted the top of the smokestacks a, a green color, but again, it's what they chose to do. The grill again was this nice dark gray color as opposed to the chrome, and no paint on the top except for the Hasbro one. Looking at it from the back. The only difference is really here, again, on the same paint apps that we saw in robot mode with the knees and the feet. Um, he does have these heels painted a, um, a black color. And this translucent piece here is orange instead of clear as on both the other figures. All right, let's get these out of the way. And we'll just go ahead and show this connected to the trailer. So let's go ahead and fold up the, the posts here. You're going to make use of these two slots and the same peg we saw before. Go ahead and peg that in. And then we have completed the Evangelion Optimus Prime in alt mode. It looks really nice, guys. Uh, I say that about a lot of figures, maybe because I only collect mostly nice figures, but I love that there's so much paint on this figure. There's paint everywhere. And for the fact that it's basically the same price, or was, if you were able to lucky to get one of the 1,000 um, pieces, is that um, it's about the same price as a regular MP10. So they recently reissued the Hasbro version in Asia, which is a lot cheaper, about half the price. But the, the Japanese Takar one, um, which was reissued not too long ago, was still $300-ish. Um, so this was also originally kind of $300-ish as well. So the fact that you get so much more paint applications and it is a limited piece, it just makes, uh, I think this is kind of a must buy. If you're able to still grab one from somewhere, I would highly recommend it. I think it is going to be um, a highly sought after collectible for both Transformers and for Evangelion fans. And if they continue the line, it'll be pretty cool. Again, they did uh, have other um, Autobots there. They had Wheeljack, Bumblebee, and Sideswipe that they didn't transform in the four parts that are out currently but who knows they might do something with them later on and I'm curious if they're gonna do a Angel Scream so that Angel Star Scream version that um, was shown in the instructions they won't be able to do that kind of weird oblong not oblong the elongated fingers claws and and look to them if they just re repaint the Star Scream mold the MP11 mold but they would still be able to do that cool deco and everything like that. And it would be cool to have them, you know, facing off. Just having him as a standalone piece is not that interesting, honestly. But if they did have him with some more pieces from this kind of crossover, it would be really cool. So I haven't heard anything about that. If I do, I'll let you guys know. But as far as uh, the review, I think we're all done. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like the review, give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope hopefully these comparisons, I, obviously they're not supposed to be similar, but just showing you all the different molds um, that I showed today and where this went above and beyond in terms of paint apps was helpful to you. So if you want to share this video with others that you might think would find this helpful, uh, please go ahead and do that. 
As always, if you like what I'm doing, please hit the subscribe button right around here, and uh, you can you can keep up to date with all the Transformer news and reviews, as well as other reviews that I'll be doing in the future that are non-Transformer related. And with that, I just want to give a thanks again to Toy Dojo, the sponsor of this video, and also for the fact that they were able to get me one of these limited 1,000 piece um, Eva mode optimuses. I know that they're really, really sought after already. So again, if you can get one, I would, I would really recommend doing that. Uh, I don't think Toy Dojo has any more in stock, but if they do, uh, keep up to date by checking on their website in the link below. And as always, I really appreciate everyone following along with me. I hope this was a help to you. And as for the review, that's all for today. Thanks a lot, everyone.